Okay, call me a geek, but I love CSS. There are so many cool things you can do with CSS. So in this video, I'm gonna show you five simple hover effects for buttons. Check out all these cool effects that we'll learn, and I promise they will be easy. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's dive in and I'll show you how to do it all. I'm going to share the link to this pen in the description below. So if you want to see the exact same thing that I'm seeing, go ahead and click that link and you can grab the HTML and the CSS. So what I've done to start with is I've added everything in so we can kind of work backwards to, to see how things work. So first of all, all the HTML is already in for all five buttons. And then over here in the CSS section, we have the general style for the, the button. So four of the buttons are the same and then the fifth is a little bit different. Um, it's, this, it's this button dash outline. Let's take a look at the buttons and see what they all do. So when I hover over scale, it gets bigger and it gets lighter. When I hover over push, it looks like it is being pushed down. When I hover over shadow, again, we get a shadow. Inset, you can see how the, the change is happening on the inside of the button. And then space, you can see there what happens when we hover over that. So let's take a look and see how each of these is working. And we can make some changes as well, just play around with it. And then um, I would love to hear how you get on with making your own changes to these buttons. So you can see here, if, I, if we look here, we've got class button dash one which is relating to this HTML here, button dash one. And we have colon hover. So we know, and we're telling CSS and our browser that on hover, we want a certain action to happen. And the action here is we want it to transform and scale, and we want the opacity to change as well. So let's just change some of this information and see how, how the, the button hover changes. So just for kicks, I'm gonna change this to 2.1, and then let's see what happens. Okay, so now we know exactly um, what changes when we do that 2.1, it gets way wider. So I reckon if I change this to 2.1, and it updates, then the whole thing gets bigger. So it, it was the y-axis and the x-axis. Um, in not in that order. <laughs> so that's the scale. And then the opacity, we've got 0 0.9. So I'm gonna change this to 0 0.2 just to see what that looks like. Okay, so it's a, it's a much more opacity than the 0 0.9. So it's a much bigger change. All right, let's take a look at button two. So button two is push. And this is originally what happens with that. And we have the border radius and the transform changes. So again, let's change some of this. And if I say one and one and one and one, let's see how that has changed. See how there's, um, you can kind of see that shadow change. It doesn't look as good as it did before. Um, but this is the whole idea is all I really want you to do is just get in here and play around and change things. So let's change this to six and six and see how that changes it. You can, you can see a bit of a change. It's subtle, but there is a bit of a change there. It looks like it's being pushed even further. So some of these changes will be more subtle than others, but again, play around with it, make some changes yourself and just see what happens. Okay, so let's look at the third, which is this shadow, box shadow. Okay, so for this, how about we change this percentage to, let's say 80%. Let's see how that, okay, a much thicker shadow in this case versus the 40. So you can see how that has changed. And then if we wanted to make this 20, let's see how that changes, 20 pixels. Okay, and then let's move on to button four. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so we have an inset box shadow and a bit of opacity again as well. So if we change this to two, we can see that change. 
much more opacity there. So again, all of these buttons, you could take some of the changes from inset, you could move it up to the push just to kind of see how the CSS changes, how it reacts, how it does different things to these buttons. But I just wanted to give you some really fun and cool CSS for buttons. And then you can go off and play around and do, do as you would like with other buttons. Uh, okay, so button five, this is the letter spacing on hover. So see how the letter spacing gets a whole lot wider on hover and it goes to 15 pixels. So let's make it really, really big. And I'm going to change this to 35. All right. Yep. That gets much, much bigger. So there we go. There's five buttons and the hover effects that you could change on those buttons. There are so many other things you could do. Even if you just Google CSS button hover effects, so many other things will come up. That's really good fun and a way to kind of show off your skills and just play around, see what you can do. And at the end of the day, do these look good? I mean, do I think a button should get that big? No, but that's okay. It's still fun to play around and see all the cool stuff that CSS can do. Awesome. I hope you got some really fun, cool ideas for your next project with that quick tutorial. I'm also leaving the link to my code pen in the description below with all of the really cool hover effects. All right. I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, hit the little bell so you know when the next video comes up. All right. Bye everybody.